This question right here says, Dan runs faster than Faye, Faye runs faster than May, Dan runs slower than Stan. Which of these can be true? Ito klaseng tanong sa exam, you would encounter this analytical reasoning section or sa logic section. So, ano bang mga exams yan na gumagamit ito? Civil service exam, um, you can use this for yung inyong um, college entrance exams, PhilSAT, and uh, NAPOLCOM. So, if you're taking any of those, make sure that you understand this part. Alright? So, all we have to do is to draw it. So, Dan runs faster than May. So, si Dan would be faster than Faye. Okay? Nauuna siya kay Faye. Next, sabi, Faye runs faster than May. So, kung ito si Faye, si Faye, mas mabilis siya kay May. And then, yung huli, sabi, Dan, ah, uh, Dan runs slower than Stan. So, kung mas mabagal si Dan kay Stan, si Stan ay dapat mas mabilis kay Dan. So, ganyan ang pwesto nila. So, hanapin natin kung sino ang true. First one, sabi, May is the slowest. Pasok tayo dyan. So, pwede yan. Faye is slower than May. Hindi pwede. May is faster than Dan. Hindi pwede. And then, sabi, Dan is slower than May. Cannot be. So, the correct answer here is A. Now, you notice, ang ginawa ko, dinaanan ko pa rin lahat ng options. That's one tip I'm going to give you if you're going to take yung mga exams na kailangan na ganitong klaseng tanong. Sa logic, hindi pwede ang shortcut. You have to read every option kasi there may be a better or a best answer out of all four. So, iti-check nyo pa rin lahat. Okay? To make sure na yung una nga ang tamang sagot. Okay? Kasi I think may mga nabiktima dito dahil kakamadali, hindi nila masyadong intindi yung tanong, hindi rin nila din drawing ito. So again, if you can't um, understand anything, try to draw it. This will help you a lot. Now, ito, again, logic statement. I have an entire series na on this sa YouTube using yung drawing technique para malaman ninyo if a statement is true, false, or uncertain. If you haven't seen that series yet, the link should be here sa post na ito. Okay? Now, sabi dito, all, all soldiers are brave. Walter is a brave man. Which of these is definitely false? No, ang gusto ko muna i-point out is that what we're looking for here is a false statement. Now, if you were looking for something that is definitely true, yun probably ang reason if you got this question wrong. Now, again, it's all about drawing. Now, sabi ko sa lesson ko sa Instagram, when we talk about all, yung statement na all, ang itsura niya would be sunny side up night log. So, kung sinasabi na all sol soldiers are brave, okay, ang ibig sabihin yan, lahat nung nasa loob ng bilog, na soldiers, lahat yan, lahat sila ay automatic na brave din. Okay? So, ganyan yung magiging itsula ng pinaka-drawing natin. Sorry, side up na itlog. Na o sabi, Walter is a brave man. So, ibig sabihin si Walter, brave siya. Now, ibig sabihin na no, nasa loob siya ng bilog na B, pwede siya dito. Now, kung dito siya, it will make him brave, pero hindi siya soldier. Pero actually, pwede rin kasi siya dito. Bakit? Kasi ang sabi lang naman, brave siya eh. So, hindi tayo sure kung siya ba ay soldier o hindi. Pero definitely brave siya. Now, since ang hinahanap natin is a statement that is false, iisa-isa natin ngayon lang. Yan. Sabi, Walter is not a soldier. Now, again, ang catch doon would be the word not. Now, hindi tayo sure kung hindi siya soldier kasi pwede siyang soldier 
pwedeng hindi. So, ibig sabihin, this statement is not 100% false. Kasi may probability na tumama siya. Okay? So, ito ay hindi pwedeng maging sagot. Next, Walter is a soldier. Same concept. Kasi kung dito siya, soldier siya, so may possibility na soldier siya. At dahil may possibility yon hindi siya pwedeng false. So, hindi rin tao ta- pwedeng sagot. Tapos next, we have Walter cannot be a soldier. Now, yung word na cannot, again, Tagalog natin, hindi siya pwedeng maging soldier. Now, if you look at the drawing, again, looking at this, may possibility siya maging soldier, pwede rin hindi, pero merong possibility. So, hindi totoo na hindi siya pwedeng maging soldier. Walter can be a soldier. So, ibig sabihin nun, itong statement na to ay false. Now, again, when it comes to logic questions, you still have to make sure na yun ang best option. Kaya, babasahin pa rin natin yung huli. Sabi, Walter is a brave soldier. Now, again, kung dito ko siya ilalagay, brave na siya, soldier pa, may possibility maging true. So, ibig sabihin, hindi yun pwedeng maging sagot. So, again, babagsak tayo. Ang tamang sagot na talaga definitely would be letter C. Kasi Walter can be a soldier. May possibility siya maging soldier. So, what I want to emphasize in this question is, you have to be careful with the words. So, hindi pwede, yung is, ibig sabihin on 100% true. Yung can, ibig sabihin, may probability lang. So, pwede 50-50 or kahit lower than that. Yung can talks about possibility. So, hindi na siya absolute. Okay? So, I hope you got it right. Pero if you didn't, kasi marami naman talaga nagkamali, which is why I'm making this. That's okay. I'll be posting more questions on this soon. Now, this question right here, ang tawag dito ay word analogy or part din kasi na ng verbal reasoning na section, uh, logic question, analytical reasoning na section sa exam. In other exams, nilalagay nila sa English. Pero basically, itong tanong na to, hindi lang siya about language. It's about analysis, no? Um, ang kailangan yung maintindihan na concept is that you are going to match yung relationship nitong dalawang to doon sa relationship ng pangalawang word pair. Now, a common mistake that people make is they only look for the pattern. When in fact, you have to look for more than just the pattern sa exam. Kailangan mag- mas maging specific kayo. You can't just say na related sila. So, for example, dito sa ating uh, example na ito, Humpty Dumpty is to wall. Now, alam natin, nursery rhyme yung Humpty Dumpty at merong wall doon. Pero if you look at the options, we have mouse is to clock. Meron din namang... Uh, nursery rhyme na mouse at saka clock. So, kung nagmamadali ka, you may answer mouse is to clock, which a lot of you did. Kasi, di ba, yung uh, the mouse ran up the clock. Now, meron din tayong Itsy Bitsy Spider at saka rain. Again, meron pa rin nursery rhyme na about the Itsy Bitsy Spider and meron din rain doon. So, if you're just looking for them na related lang sila, magkakamali kayo kasi lahat pwedeng maging sagot. O, yung moon at yung cow kasi the cow jumped over the moon, pwede rin. Now, si Jack and Jill at saka Hill, Pwede rin, kasi again, nasa same sila na nursery rhyme. Now, you need to be as particular as possible. So, ano ba ang relationship ni Humpty Dumpty doon sa kanyang wall? Okay, so may wall. At si Humpty Dumpty, ang kwento was that he actually fell. Okay? ba diba? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So, ibig sabihin, from the wall, doon siya nalaglag. So, if Humpty Dumpty fell, okay, or nahulog siya doon sa wall, we're looking for something related doon. 
okay? Or naging demise nung character. Now, the sa nursery time na the mouse went off the clock, ang kasunod dun is that the clock rang, di ba? And the mouse ran down. So, hindi naman nalaglag yung mouse. Okay? So, medyo parang ify na tayo dun. Pwede siyang nisagot. Yung letter B naman, yung itsy, itsy bitsy spider, ba yung itsy bitsy spider, spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. So, yung, yung nawash, the, nawash yung spider nung rain. Pero hindi siya dun sa rain umakyat. So, again, related, pero mas, mas hindi siya, uh, hindi siya sakto. Kasi, hindi naman sa rain nalaglag yung spider. Yung rain yung kinalaglag nung spider. Okay? Now, yung letter C, moon siya ka cow, the cow jumped over the moon. So, kung ito yung moon, yung cow, tumalun daw siya sa moon. Hindi naman din siya nalaglag. So, ang question would be, mas maganda ba yung tungkol kay Jack at saka kay Jill? Now, ang sabi doon sa nursery rhyme is that Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, di ba? So, obviously, may well dyan. And then, Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. So, ibig sabihin, nalaglag din si Jack at saka si Jill dun sa hill. So, the best answer now becomes letter D. Now, again, Dito sa gano'ng klaseng tanong, it's not enough that you know the relationship. You have to define the relationship. You have to make sure na tama at mas accurate siya. Kasi in some cases, marami sa options ang pwedeng maging sagot. But you're looking for the best. So you have to really check each of them. Make sure na same exact yung relationship. Same din yung position niya. Alright? So I do discuss this sa live review event. So if you're coming sa live review event or if you're joining the online review program, we discuss this ng mas mahaba. And, um, pero yun, wala kasing free video nito right now. Because, um, I have those exclusive techniques doon sa mga live shows, online review. So, if you are part of that, don't worry, kasi we're going to discuss that at length naman. Alright? Again, for more quick questions like this, don't forget to follow me at Like a Maravilla on Instagram. I'll be posting more habang papalapit yung mga exam din nyo. And, uh, sana masagutan nyo yung susunod ng tama. Alright? So, again, if you want me to make more vi videos like this, don't forget to like and share this with your friends. Comment din sa baba if you want more. And, uh, as you always say, this is a team never stop learning. Adja, adja, kayo I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.